everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you all about Disney Animation's 2023 feature film Wish, which was recently announced at the D23 Expo. It is a very important project as it celebrates 100 years of Disney. This movie will be written by the incredible Frozen team Chris Buck and Jennifer Lee, who is also the Chief Creative Officer of Disney Animation. Chris Buck will also direct the film along with Fawn and Vera Sunthorn. She has previously worked as a story artist for hit films such as Frozen, Moana and Zootopia, and more recently was the head of story for Raya and the Last Dragon. The producers of the film will be Peter Del Vecco, who produced both Frozen films, and Juan Pablo Reyes who has worked in development for Frozen 2, Raya and the Last Dragon, and Encanto. Wish will be a musical, and the music will be composed by Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter Julia Michaels. In addition to her own music, Julia has also written songs for Selena Gomez, Demi Lovato, Britney Spears, Hayley Steinfeld, Gwen Stefani, and Justin Bieber. The movie will be about the origin of the wishing star that so many Disney characters have wished upon in movies, such as Pinocchio and the Princess and the Frog. So basically, this movie confirms that every single Disney animated movie is part of the same universe, which is pretty exciting. Further evidence of this came when it was stated at D23 that Wish will feature tons of Disney animation easter eggs. Additionally, to honour Disney's legacy, the movie will be a blend of 2D and 3D animation. It will use watercolours and 2D textures along with Disney's modern CG style. We saw some test footage of this style of animation at the expo and it is very unique. I would describe it as a 2D version of the 3D character design seen in Tangled, Frozen and Moana. The setting of this film is the Kingdom of Rosas, better known as the Kingdom of Wishes, because here your wishes can literally come true. This fantasy fairy tale kingdom existed long before Snow White dreamed by her wishing well, or Geppetto wished for Pinocchio to be a real boy. The kingdom is located by the sea and it has a creamy colour palette with lots of pillars. Rosas is a Spanish word which translates to roses, suggesting that a Spanish-speaking culture will be represented in the film. The lead of this film is a 17-year-old mixed-raced girl named Asha. She is a driven, incredibly smart optimist with a sharp wit who cares endlessly about her community. She is also a leader in the making, even though she doesn't quite know it yet. She wears a gorgeous purple dress with lots of cute jewellery such as this necklace and anklet. She also carries a tiny bag, which seems to be the perfect place to store a wishing star. Asha will be played by the immensely talented Ariana DeBose, who won an Oscar for her performance as Anita in the remake of West Side Story. At the D23 Expo, we got to hear Ariana perform a beautiful song called More For Us. This is Asha's I Want song, and the context is that Asha sees a darkness in the kingdom that nobody else does, and must find a way to help the people that she loves. This darkness is described as one of the most formidable foes in Disney history, suggesting that it will be a classic Disney villain with potential links to someone we have seen before. In response to her knowledge about this evil, in a moment of desperation, Asha makes an impassioned plea to the stars, wishing with all her heart for guidance and help. The lyrics of the song suggest that nobody is listening to her because she is young, but Asha is confident that she is right about the danger. The power of Asha's wish is so great that she calls down an actual star from the sky named Star. Star is a cosmic force made up of things such as possibility, imagination and hope. But Star is also a little ball of boundless energy, impossibly curious and a giant beacon of chaos. Star is much too evolved for language, instead communicating through pantomime, so he doesn't have a voice actor. As established in Moana, all Disney heroines need a cute animal sidekick, and Asha is no exception. Her sidekick is a talking goat named Valentino, who wears yellow pyjamas. He'll be voiced by Disney's lucky charm Alan Tudyk, who has voiced a character in every Disney movie since Wreck-It Ralph. Valentino does not start off as a talking goat, however, and is only granted the power to speak from Star. We saw footage of this moment at the expo, and Valentino was surprised at how deep his voice sounded. He starts out sounding like this. <laughs> kind of goaty. But then he gets his wish granted, and he sounds like this. And he can't believe he's, he's also from <laughs> just to talking like this. His name is Valentino, and he loves talking to people. He's very happy. He sounds similar to me, just... Little lower. Basically, even though he looks like a baby goat, he sounds 
like an adult man. In respect to the greater theme of the movie, Asha will learn that it is not enough just to have a dream in your heart, and sometimes the bigger the wish, the harder the journey. So in summary, the journey to the dream is very important, an appropriate message for a film celebrating the journey of Disney animation over the past 100 years. Anyway, that's all for today. Like this video if you liked it, and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.